I went out and got a whole bunch of the drinks that we love to have at my house and we brought those home. I'm going to share with you our favorite ones and what I got and also the um, drink enhancing drops that I picked up. So you've been seeing some of these that I bring home lately in my hauls that I do every month. And today I have a whole bunch of ones I'm going to show you that I got. And also I'm going to do a little taste test. They nailed it on that one. Mm. No. Mm. That one is good. We are going to also look at the ingredients just to see if any of them are any healthier. I used to be a Diet Coke person and I loved always having Diet Coke on hand and heard everybody saying you shouldn't be drinking the Diet Coke. It has, I think it had like aspartame um, or one of the artificial sweeteners in it and also just some other things about pop, the acidity on your teeth and stuff like that. It's not as good for you. So I would try to limit it. but. Eventually, my kids and I all started getting on the sparkling water, and now that I'm putting drops in my sparkling water, I like to always see if there's something that might be a bit more healthy, and I know a lot of you are interested in that. So we're going to take a look at the ingredients, and we're going to take a look at how these drops taste. I like peach, and I like mango, and I like peach mango, apparently. And we're going to tell you, I think a couple of my kids are going to be joining me and we're going to tell you our honest thoughts about what we like and what we don't like. And my question for you today is what is your favorite go-to drink? What drink do you drink probably the most often around your house? Is it water? Are you a huge milk drinker? Do you maybe like sparkling waters or pop? What is the drink you really love to drink on a daily basis? And then the other question is, what is your favorite once in a while drink? Mine, I'm going to say is an iced cappuccino from Tim Hortons or something similar. I like the McDonald's frappes too. Um, I don't really get out to the really fancy coffee places, but I do like anything like those frappe iced cappuccino type drinks. But once in a while, because I know they have a lot of sugar and calories and stuff, so it's definitely once in a while. What is yours? I would love to know, and I'm sure everyone would love to know what your favorite drinks are. So I'm gonna go show you the haul now and what I picked up, and then we're gonna get right at the taste test. Here we go. So I'm gonna show you some of the drinks that we love to buy. We, I love to go to Wegmans and get these sparkling waters and they say they're calorie free, naturally flavored. So all it is really is sparkling water. It's water with like carbonation. I got two of those and you can see there's pretty much nothing in this. It says it has a little natural flavor, which basically there's, so there's no dye, it's clear. You can see this is one of them right here and it's clear, this is the lime. We really love sparkling water. We used to drink pop more. We used to drink other things like Gatorade and stuff like that or juice. And, and and also we drink water, but I just really love that all my kids, even my teenagers, decided that they liked this and they actually just wanted to be healthier. So I know there's tons of different brands out there. We go to this um, store that we have in our area named Wegmans. It's a really awesome grocery store. But we get the sparkling water that they, their brand here. And it's that's a one liter bottle. Comes in this 12 pack. It's usually about $7.50 per 12 pack. And you can see right there it says $7.49 minus 150 so I got this on a great sale um, recently when we went so that means we got them for six dollars for a big um, 12 pack liter bottle so you kind of can watch for sales and we really love the lime and the lemon and the ginger the ginger, my kids used to love ginger ale. Grandma used to buy 
ginger ale. She would bring us up 12 packs of ginger ale. And of course that has a lot of sugar in it. The ginger is just like the other lemon and lime where it doesn't have any calories. And it has that gingery flavor. So once you get used to something that doesn't have a lot of sugar, I feel like it completely changes your whole taste. So now when my teenage kids will go and drink a regular ginger ale, they think it tastes so sweet, like sickeningly sweet. You can see one of these is already gone. <laughs> we took one out already. It tastes so sickeningly sweet to them that my son would say, I can't even do this. I can't even do this anymore. I, I just like the ginger water now. And then there's the lime. And so I just think it's so healthy. One time I was at the dentist and I asked them because I was a little thinking, well, we're drinking so much of this stuff. Is there anything wrong with drinking a lot of this? Like I know sometimes things that have like acid in them, like the pop and stuff, can actually eat away at your teeth. So I thought, is drinking too much of this going to be a problem? And the um, dentist's office couldn't think of any reason why it would be a problem. If anybody out there knows a problem for your teeth, a factual problem, like you really know your dentist or your dental hygienist and you know that this is an issue, please comment because I would love to know that. But so far, I don't think there's any issue for calories or for anything. And it's so nice because you can just, if you're like me and you like something just sparkling, um, like I used to love my Diet Coke, then you miss it if you just have water right and you feel like oh I just want to have one of my diet cokes I used to always feel like that and then we got this um 12 pack of the cans so it comes in cans like this with the grapefruit my daughters this is their favorite flavor the grapefruit flavor and that was a little bit less money because it's the smaller cans Let's see the grapefruit was $3.99 for the 12-pack. So it's a little bit cheaper than if you were to buy a 12-pick of pop. And I just feel like it's so much better for our health that it's definitely a big win-win. And by the way, when I bought these, it was $40. So it does add up. It is going to be way cheaper. If your family just loves water, plain water, and you don't care about any of these things, then go for it and just drink water. It'll be cheaper and healthy. So I know somebody's going to comment water is the healthiest. So go ahead and drink the water. But if you're someone like us where you just would like to see your family being able to drink something healthier as an alternative to pop, this is nice. So this I wanted to show you. I went and I got a ton of these little adding added drops. What I have been buying and you've seen in my haul are these ones from Aldi. So this one is Fruit Punch. I love that it says naturally flavored, but it says with other natural flavors. So I don't know if that means there's some artificial flavors. It doesn't say artificial. Uh, there's no calories. They also, what I love is they don't have any red dye. So even this one that you would think with the Fruit Punch it says fruit and vegetable juice for color, which is awesome. Go Aldi. That's amazing. But what I do notice is it has this ingredient called sucralose there. And I don't know, I've heard mixed things about sucralose. But other than that, it's got water, lactic acid, fruit and vegetable juice for color, natural flavors, sucralose, 2% of, of or less of the following acylphane, potassium, xanthan gum, potassium sorbate. So those might be just some like preservatives. But um, it seemed like a pretty healthy situation here. You know, natural flavors, natural dyes, just fruit and vegetable juice, no calories. Sounds really good to me. And I love adding just a couple squirts of that to my sparkling water. You can add it to regular water, but I just think there's no comparison to having a big quart jar of with lots of ice, sparkling water, and some of that squirted in. I mean, it's awesome to me. But 
the question is, is that sucralose okay? How does that compare to stevia? I haven't done a lot of like scientific studies on this or anything. And I just know that some people don't prefer to have the sucralose because I think it's more of a man-made sugar substitute. This is another flavor I like at Aldi. With, it's very similar to the fruit punch. It's a grape. And again, it's got zero calories and natural flavors and natural dye. And here's a strawberry watermelon. So we're going to test out and see which ones of those are the best flavors. So then I was at Wegmans and I decided to pick up a bunch of other ones. My criteria for picking these up was that it had to um, not have dye, that it had to um, have either sucralose or stevia, and you know, no calories and no artificial like red dyes and stuff like that. And yeah, just be as natural as possible. I don't always eat just totally natural or anything, but I figure if I'm having a lot of this like every single day, then I should probably be caring about, you know, whenever you're having a lot of something on a regular basis, that's when it's really important. I'm gonna try out this stir strawberry. Uh, it says fruit and flavor blend. Natural flavor, white grape juice, strawberry juice, watermelon juice, purified water, citric acid, vegetable juice, asorbic acid, malic acid, natural stevia leaf. Reb M adds a negligible amount of sugar. Oh, that's, the st that's to do with the stevia from concentrate. Okay, so that's what's in it. No calories, no red dye. They say bestseller, one million happy customers. So there's that, the strawberry watermelon. There's the real fruit punch. And that again has grape juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, cherry juice, vegetable juice for color, stevia. Okay. I'm really hoping these taste amazing. Blue and blackberry. Same situation. Peach mango. Same thing as far as the naturalness of it. Concord grape. So this might compare to my grape one that I've been using at Aldi. And let's see, did I get one more flavor? This one says boost hydration electrolytes. So I guess they added something to make this have some electrolytes. Black raspberry. I'm not that worried about that. I'm more concerned with how it tastes and if it's pretty natural. Then there was one other brand I found called Clear Theory Water Booster Fruit Punch. Okay, so I'm going to compare this one when I'm tasting it. This one, first ingredient is glycerin, water, citric acid, dextrose, gum, arabic potassium citrate, 2% stevia leaf, and it says it has natural flavor. And then this one, Clear Theory, Blue Raspberry. It has glycerin, water, citric acid, da, 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 stevia, and natural flavor. So it doesn't have any dyes and doesn't have un artificial flavors. And that was the Blue Raspberry. So I'm excited to be comparing all of those and seeing what we think of them. If I have to pay a little bit more for the Stir versus the Aldi brand, I will do it if I feel better about using something with Stevia. Although the Aldi brand seems pretty good, the only thing is it has that sucralose, so depending on how you feel about that. So the normal sparkling water that we buy doesn't have any sweetener in it. And it does have some flavor, like this one has a little bit of lime, but it's a very subtle flavor. It doesn't have any really sweetness to it. So why would someone add these types of things is because if you just really like to feel like 
you want a little bit more flavor than it already has and maybe a little bit of um, sweetness to it. So here I've got everything all set up and I've got my sparkling lime drink and I've got my cups of ice. So since I love this grape one from Aldi, let's start out by trying out the grape stir. So I've got this, I'm just gonna add Yeah, I really like it. I'm not sure if I really like it more than this one. Maybe I'll pour a glass of this one. Okay, so that's this is the Aldi one. Okay, I put way too much in. <laughs> I'm used to putting it in here. It's really sweet. Well, that's because I'm used to this one. I like them both. Maybe this one, the stir one tastes a little bit more natural. Like it tastes, I can really taste like the white grape taste. So I like them, I like them both. I would say this one tastes a little more natural and it doesn't taste as sweet per how many squirts. Like you'd have to put more squirts to get it as sweet tasting as that. So I'm gonna set these over here because I might have my kids come in and test this out. And I know that I really like this fruit punch from Aldi, so I'm curious how much will I like the stir. I like it. For some reason, I really like the fruit punch from Aldi. I feel, when I say for some reason, I mean it makes sense to like this one more because this one here, it has white grape juice, orange juice, pineapple juice, cherry juice. It's like a real actual fruit punch. And it tastes good. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like a genuine fruit punch taste. Let me just see. Gotta compare it to what I am used to this Aldi fruit punch. Don't wanna put much in there. I don't know, Aldi made these a bit sweeter or something. They taste maybe a little less natural and a little bit sweeter again with this one. Maybe this is bad, but I kind of like this Aldi one. But I could be persuaded to switch because the stir is good. Um, if I believed the Stevia was quite a bit better for my health and I'm drinking this often, I think I would have to research that a little bit more. So if you know that you would be more comfortable with stevia and not sucralose, then you'd probably wanna go with the stir. So, that being said, I'm gonna try this fruit punch that's by Clear Theory and just see if for any reason this is like a game changer. Okay, first thing I noticed it's clear, which I should not be shocking because it's called clear theory. But it's just weirding me out that it's clear. Like, I, I should like that, right? It should be more healthy that it's clear. But maybe it's like when I'm putting in the one with the color, I feel like I know roughly how much I'm putting in because I can tell by how dark it is or how light it is that I did or didn't put enough in. With this one, it's clear, so I have no idea what this is going to be like. Mm. No. Something is weird with this. Okay. I don't know if this is what's weird, but it's got zinc in it. <laughs> you know that I love like my coldies. I told you guys about coldies last time in my grocery haul. I love coldies. 
they have the zinc lozenges and you suck on those and the zinc coats your throat, but I do not want to drink zinc in my water all the time, especially if I'm gonna be using a lot of this. This has more of a bittery, soury taste and the only one just tastes sweet to me. It's just making me feel like I taste the zinc too. So I'm gonna try the other clear theory and see if this one, oh, this one also says it's got electrolytes in zinc in it. This one is blue raspberry flavored. It's clear. And I don't really like it. That's just my initial reaction is I just don't really like it. Sorry, clear theory. All right. So, so far, I still like my Aldi ones and I do like the stir. So I'm going to try this peach, peach mango stir. It tastes good. Yeah, I would definitely choose this over just, you know, not having anything in it. I still really like this. still really like this better. I would definitely buy this. But I'm a sucker for peach. Do you guys like peach flavors? I I like this. I like peach and I like mango. And I like peach mango, apparently. And what do we have left? We'll try this blue and blackberry. Mmm, that one is good. I think this is my favorite of the stir. This, and then probably the peach mango after this. White grape juice, blackberry juice, and blueberry juice. Oh, it tastes, you can taste it. Yeah, it's really good. They nailed it on that one, that was really good. Okay, so right now I'm loving this blue blackberry. We're down to the last three of these. The first one I'm going to try is a strawberry, strawberry watermelon. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm really getting the strawberry. I don't know about the watermelon, but I'm really clearly getting strawberry. And I bet if I look at the back of this, it's going to say that it has actual strawberry juice. It does. And watermelon juice. Now this one tastes sweeter. I feel like this one and the blueberry, I'm getting more of the sweetness from and not as much of the sour. So that was the stir strawberry watermelon. I really liked that. So while we're at strawberry watermelon, I will give a fair comparison to my Aldi strawberry watermelon. Wow, that is sweet. I think I added too much. What I'm noticing is for each squirt of the stir, the Aldi, one squirt of the Aldi one is definitely more sweet. I like it. I don't know, something about these Aldi ones I like a lot. But I will say that the truer strawberry flavor is with the stir. And there's a sort of a, a little bit more of a soury sweet note in the stir than the Aldi one is more purely sweet. Okay, we're down to the last one that I bought here today. Gonna try our last flavor, black raspberry. Now this one also says it has electrolytes. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the taste. I mean, it's okay. I probably would not buy that. So this is my array of all of the drink drops I tasted. I think I know which ones are my favorite. I think my favorite are still my grape and fruit punch Aldi ones and 
along with probably this one, the black, blue and blackberry stir, the peach mango stir, and the strawberry watermelon stir. With this one probably being my top choice today, but I definitely still love my fruit punch from Aldi. This one was not bad at all. I liked it. The grape from Aldi, and I also liked the grape from Stir. If I wasn't, if I had no problem staying with something that has sucralose, I would probably just stay with my Aldi ones. But I did really like Stir a lot, especially with if you're looking for something that has stevia. Now, do you want to get some thoughts from my kiddos? Peter, are you are you planning on trying these? today uh yes okay so look at all these what do you think there's a lot yeah, i really like it you really like that okay now tell us what you I'm honestly scared. think <laughs> it smells you don't have different. to be scared none of them are going to taste weird and it tastes really good you don't like it no no, I kind of like it now. You like it? Yeah. Which one's better? That one's better? Okay. I really like this. It tastes like cotton candy, guys. I kind of like it. Okay. Mm-mm. <laughs> I this to all the time. It's so funny because... <laughs> Okay. Next one's another clear theory one. So, what do you think of that one? My daughter Maria is gonna join us too. Let's see. That's a fruit punch, the Aldi one. I like it. Ew! I don't like that at all. You don't like that at all? Mm -mm. Okay. So now he's trying the grape from Aldi. Yeah, we're not since we're from water. It's good. It doesn't taste like much. Mm -mm. I don't like this at all. You don't like that at all? Oh my goodness. Okay. Last is this one. It's this uh, black raspberry stir. Okay. What do you think? Good or bad? Not good or bad? Okay. All right, let's give Maria a try now. Thank you, Peter. Each cup is right next to each of these. What do you think? My favorite was probably the Blue Raspberry Clear Theory. That is so weird. That's the exact opposite of us. Peter and I both did not like the Blue Raspberry Clear Theory. Actually, that one might be the best. What? The Clear Theory um, Fruit Punch. Okay, so she loves the Clear Theory Fruit Punch. Which, well, honestly, my son, Peter and I, did not really like it. Okay, Mom, I'm going to try this one. It literally tastes like the throw up jelly bean. I'm, I'm not kidding. Oh. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Hey, high five. Hi five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, so my kids helped me to figure out which ones of these are the best. But unfortunately, we had very different opinions. So there's no clear winner. In fact, the clear theory that my son Peter and I did not really like my daughter Maria said was her very favorite. So it's so hard to know what to recommend to any of you. I guess you're gonna have to just try some of these things out yourself and see which ones you like. I know that Peter and I both really liked this blue and blackberry. And I will say that it really, it does say that it has blackberry and blueberry juice and I really taste that's that taste of it in there. And I really did taste 
the strawberry taste in this one from Stir, and I tasted the peach from the peach mango. And of course, I still like my fruit punch, grape, and Peter really liked the strawberry watermelon from Aldi. So of all the stir you're gonna try, try those, one of those three, and you can also try the Aldi ones um, to add to your sparkling water if you would like to try that. But I definitely recommend just grabbing a nice big quart jar of some sparkling water with ice and enjoying a nice cold drink of refreshing sparkling water sometime and try one of these drops out and see what you like. I am gonna include um, some links in my description to some of these in case you are somewhere where you'd like to try them but you just don't know if you can find them at the store. I don't, I don't have any links for the Aldi ones so you'll have to just pick those up at an Aldi near you. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you got some good ideas here and I hope you enjoyed.